The feds denied uh, an Ottawa Smalley Center funding, like claiming that they were not black enough. This is, Somalia is in Africa. So let me, before we get into it, let me ask you, do you consider Somali people black? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, see that right there. That hesitation. So, okay. Here we go. So he goes, I got an email saying our organization is not a black led organization. And he's like, I didn't believe what I saw. And he said he had to reread it three times. So anyways, the guy who, who got this is saying, look, they never told us why we got rejected. They, they didn't tell us anything. And basically, there's now a sense of distrust there. So the person who I was telling you about, who's also Somali, who's running the department, who grants these funds, um, uh, he has been quoted as saying that he's implemented new measures to make sure it never happens again. In addition, I will continue to work with black Canadian organizations to improve our systems. So... I feel like the damage is kind of done. I think they're black. What, what else would they be? They don't call... Uh, do they call themselves black? I've never heard a Somali person say I'm, I'm black. I know that they're from... They're, they're African and people are going to be like, they're, it's an African country. How can they not be black? Well, go mm -hmm. to South Africa. Go to South Africa and you'll see a lot of lighter skinned people. And if they showed up here saying that they were black, you guys would have a problem with it. So that's that's why I don't know. I don't know. I have I have Somalian friends. Um, I've never I don't remember hearing a Somalian person say they say I'm African. But you know, like I said, African doesn't mean that you're black. So mm -hmm. I think people get those two things confused. So this group naturally, of course, believes that that's not the case, and they are Somali, right? So they do believe they're black, right? right. I mean, hence the article. Hence right, the, right, obviously. The, the, this wouldn't be a problem if... <laughs> the story. So it's... me and you not being from Somalia, our opinions are our own. That's why we're having this conversation, of course. But um, uh, they clearly believe that they're black. If you don't identify as black, why would you apply for this funding? I mean, I got tons of white friends. They might as well have applied. Maybe this is the only checkbox they could tick off. Maybe it's one of those. Mm. It's possible. They have, maybe they don't have a, you know, a, a Somalian, like African. Maybe you just have to be black <laughs> to get the funding for whatever this is. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Well, let me know what you guys think, man. Leave it in the comments. I do think this is effed up. It was a Somali guy who was like, this is my department. And I'm basically the one who told him to say no. Okay. Wow. So... You got one group of Somali people like, yes, we're black. And another Somali guy is like, no, you ain't nigga. But you just call me nigga. <laughs> All right, people. Uh, thoughts, man. <laughs> Set me up, bro. Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Two guys doing a podcast podcast. Doses. All right, you guys. We put out new videos every single morning at 10 a.m. Yes. Make sure you like and subscribe. Check out these videos right here. And subscribe right down here. We're trying to get to at least 100 followers. Thank We're you. not far, man. <laughs> subscribe.